Welcome to our lesson one, part two. And uh, this is uh, we are uh, we want to look at methods of soil uh, conservation in an agricultural environment. Last time we talked about uh, uh, the uh, uh, definition of the word soil conservation or soil conservation measures, where we say that uh, this is a combination of uh, various practices which are done to prevent a uh, loss of soil uh, through uh, soil erosion. A combination of various practices that are done to prevent loss of soil through soil erosion. Then we also looked at the reasons why we should do what we call soil conservation or the importance and we said uh, one reason is to keep the top soil uh, in its place so that we don't lose it. Another reason was to maintain fertility of the soil because the top soil is the one that has a lot of fertility. Uh, the third reason was to maintain uh, soil productivity, maintain soil productivity. And the fourth reason was to help increase agricultural production, uh, thereby promoting uh, food security. So uh, in our lesson, uh, second lesson, um, or lesson one, part two, I want us to look at the methods of soil conservation in agricultural environment. Methods of soil conservation in agricultural environment. And uh, I want us to list them the way they are. You can see them on your screen. That uh, the first one is strip cropping. So what is strip cropping? Strip cropping involves uh, cropping or planting of various crops. And uh, you combine a, a crop that has a poor cover or poor ground cover with the one that has a good ground cover the one that has good ground cover then we also have um, uh, grassed waterways grassed waterways and now waterway is a channel in which water uses to pass so when we say grassed waterway that means it is a waterway in which there is grass planted in it so grass is used to control uh, conserve soil uh, because it is able to filter out soil particles and also to reduce the speed of runoff. I hope I, you, you remember runoff, the water that flows after uh, rainfall. So when you have a, a waterway or a channel in which water passes and there is grass planted in it, the grass is able to do two, th two things. One, it's able to s reduce the speed of that surface runoff and it's also able to um to uh to filter out soil particles the third method is stone line stone lines are various sizes of stones that are heaped in a line and remember that all these things are done on a slope along the contours uh, or across the hill so uh, stone lines uh, the stones are heaped uh, of course they start from the large size up to the small size and then they form a line so the stone lines help to filter out soil particles and also to slow down the speed of surface uh, runoff then uh, third i mean fourth is trash, trash lines trash lines work the same way as stone lines are uh, reducing the speed of runoff uh, that side from upper the hill to lower uh, to lower sides of the hill and then uh, filtering out soil particles. Now, trash lines is not made up of stone. Trash lines are made up of crop remains uh, like maize stalks, uh, beans, such a kind of materials, crop residues. They are the ones that are used from uh, trash lines. That's why it is called trash from the word trash line. Trash, trash uh, is means crop remains. Then we have what we call soil bands. Soil bands are uh digging the soil to form a, a, a furrow and then heaping the soil on one side uh, and that the, the soil that is dug to form uh, the furrow is usually heaped on the lower side of the hill and the function of the soil band is to uh, accumulate water that is coming up from the hill so that it does not go further moving down the hill so it reduces the amount of water moving down the hill which reduces uh, soil erosion so right away let's go through them uh, spare the notes uh, uh, 
And you can see the first one here. Uh, that is a uh, strip cropping uh, and you can see uh, crops are planted in a strip of course across the hill or around the contours and it is the growing of crops in a way that crops that have little soil cover for example maize are grown uh, while alternating in strips with those that have good ground cover for example uh, sweet potatoes grass can also be used uh, as strips the function of the strips is to prevent loss of soil erosion through surface runoff then here we have uh, ground uh, waterways ground waterways you can see uh, the area highlighted with the black lines that is a, a, a channel in which water passes and this channel has grass uh, whenever surface runoff uses the channel uh, soil particles are filtered out and then uh, the speed of su the surface runoff is also lowered so soil is not able to be carried away so uh, these are natural or man-made ch uh, shallow channels in which excess rain water flows grass and other vegetation can grow in the channels when surface runoff is directed into the channels the vegetation in the channels lower the speed of runoff and also traps eroded soil so grass to waterway works in two ways one uh, by lowering the speed of the surface runoff and the second is by trapping eroded soil uh, particles so uh, that is a stone line stone line we say they are stones heaped uh, from the uh, stones of different sizes that are heaped and uh, put a uh, structured in a line and you can see uh, moving from this side all the way coming this side that is uh, across the hill or uh, along the contours so how do they work uh, these are stones of different sizes heaped in a line along the contour to prevent loss of soil down the slope through surface runoff stone line reduce the speed of runoff and increase water infiltration uh, especially in semi-arid areas so um just like other methods stone lines are able to reduce the speed of runoff uh, then we have another method uh, the trash line uh, which i have just said is it involves using of crop remains or crop residue and uh, one advantage of this method is that these parts uh, crop remains are able to decompose and add organic matter or soil fat the fertility so you can see here they are being used in this farm around this corner uh, they are put across the hill and you can also see here they are arranged well um, trash lines are plant materials or crop residue remains arranged along the contour in a cultivated field trash lines help produce uh, runoff hence preventing loss of um, soil from the land we are also being told that uh, trash lines uh, increase water infiltration in the soil increasing water infiltration that means water infiltration is the ability of the water to move down the soil or to move deep into the into the soil the last method is uh, soil bands and soil bands we say uh, uh, refers to a heap of compacted soil so this is soil that is dug and then uh, uh, placed on uh, one side of the hill that's especially the lower side and it is compacted pressed so that it becomes hard uh, what also, also happens is that grass is planted on top of the ba soil bands uh, to make it stable and also control erosion so how do bands help to conserve soil they reduce the volume of water flowing down the slope because water will end up in these small uh, holes eh, or furrows eh. instead of water moving down it will accumulate here and that means it will reduce the the, the run of the soil erosion uh, lastly uh, there are some points to note and we have to be very clear on them we are being told that most structures that are constructed to conserve soil erosion are made along the contour lines that is across the slope it is therefore very important to establish the contour lines first before constructing 
the structure before you construct any of the structures we have just talked about the strip crops cropping the um, grass waterway the soil burns trash line and soil line you must ensure you know where are the contours on a certain slope then um contour lines uh they will guide you uh to position the soil conservation structure and then lastly we are told that uh, contour farming is the farming carried out across the slope or along the contours across the slope or along the contours rather than up and down so this is just to help reduce the uh, uh, soil uh, erosion thank you